How's it going guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a helmet fan for your Mandalorian cosplay. You're only going to need a few things. You'll need a phone charger uh, that uses a USB port, which is pretty standard. Uh, almost all phone chargers that I've seen are 5 volt. So 5 volt is going to be pretty much across the board, something you're going to want to pay attention to. I pick up these cheap chargers at the dollar store and then a uh, helmet, well it's not actually a helmet fan, this is like a computer fan, it's a 5 volt fan. The things that I look for is that it has kind of this shroud on the back side and it's a little bit more enclosed. That way like your hair and stuff doesn't get trapped in it. Nice thing is about these cords is you're going to have the positive and the negative kind of clearly marked. Uh, then what I do is I take the charger that I'm going to use. The USB end is the one you're going to want to keep because that's going to go into your, your power bank. Uh, I'm going to take and cut the end off. And once you've cut the end off, you're going to strip the wires. Okay, so stripping the wires is pretty easy. Uh, what I typically do, now you can use wire strippers and all that kind of stuff. I use a razor blade and I just, uh, I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on this. Just enough to kind of barely cut through the insulating um, wire that's around it. And then you should be able to pull this off. And you can see how I cut a little bit off there and I actually got the insulating wire off that end. Um, now just because I know what this inside of this looks like, I happen to know that this would have been wrapped in white insulation as well. And it might be kind of hard to tell, but this is kind of a pink, um, which I had assumed was my positive, but it's actually not. Um, I'm going to show you how I test each one of these in just a second, but I know that this is my negative and this is my positive wire and these two are information and I'm going to end up cutting these off in a little bit. And so I'm just like kind of just scoring it just a little bit, just enough so that it cuts it off. Hopefully that's kind of understandable. It's not. Not too difficult to do. And then I just twist these. And then, last thing you're gonna need is, you need the, the helmet fan. And then you're gonna strip these wires as well. To figure out um, a lot of times with these like cheap USB cords, one of the issues you're going to have is figuring out uh, which wires are your positive and negative and which ones are going to be information wires that you're not going to need. So what I do is I plug it into my USB power bank, which is 5 volts. The fan is 5 volts. So all I have to do is test by putting them against the wires and then if I know if it's right the fan will cut on. Um, so right there I've got power. I can feel the fan blowing. I don't know if you guys can hear it but that's working and the way I would do it is I typically put one here like one wire I hold it and then you just tap it against the other wires. Uh, obviously these would have to the insulation on these would have to be cut um, but for when you're testing you'll just test each one and then once you find the right one, just, just know that that's how you're going to solder these together. This tool right here is called Helping Hands. It's really nice because uh, it holds things nice and steady for you. This is going to be your solder. And then you have your soldering iron. Mine's got a temperature gauge. And I typically have like a damp sponge. I don't know if it's super visible, but this right here looks kind of dull and what I want it to look is nice and shiny. So if I wipe it you can see how that tip is now nice and shiny. Then what I do is I take a little bit of solder and I put it right on the tip and that solder helps transfer heat and then I tap the wire with the solder kind of coating the whole thing in solder. 
and I think this is called tinning the wires. I can't remember the term for it, but really what you're doing is setting these up so that when you go to solder them, all you have to do is touch them together and it makes life really easy. So once again, a little bit of solder to help transfer that heat. I then coat the wire. So I need to make sure that these are right. So let's double check. There we go, okay. So we check the wires, again, to make sure everything works. What I'm gonna do is I hold this wire right against the wire I wanna solder, and then because I've already have solder on them, all I have to do is heat them up, and then when it dries, what you want it to look like is you want that connection to be shiny. If it looks kind of dull, just go ahead and hit it with heat again, and um, it'll reset that joint. Uh, if it looks dull, most likely you don't have a good connection. And then I usually give them a good little tug, make sure they're good. I will cut these information wires short so that they're not in my way. Okay. And then you have to insulate these wires. If you cross them over, it'll short out. See how the fan quit? So you want to uh, you want to insulate them with electrical tape. I have a little piece of electrical tape. I tend to fold it over like this. And then once that wire looks completely covered, I then wrap it like this. Alrighty, so we plug it in. It cuts on, I'm not sure if you can see it, but if I pull this little plastic over it, you can see that it is moving the plastic. Okay. And then I'm gonna show you how to set this up or how I would set this up in the, uh, the helmet. And when I talk about clearance, what I mean is if you see the table's flat, if I push this right over, you can kind of hear it trying to suck the air and it sounds a little bit like a vacuum cleaner. So it needs to have a little bit of clearance so that it can actually get the air sucked in and pushed out. Uh, so I have it set up so that it shoots air across my visor and where I would normally breathe on the visor because I had an issue with my visor fogging up. So this completely gets rid of this and it keeps my helmet cool. I just hot glued this thing in and what I did, and this is kind of important, if you're looking at this, you don't want this to be super flat because you need air intake for this to work. So I have a little bit of a gap. It might be kind of hard to tell. You don't need a whole bunch of gap, but if you don't have any gap, it won't be able to suck in any air. And you'll hear it bog down if you have, the fan doesn't have enough room to suck in air. Hopefully that's helpful, and if you enjoyed it or you found it helpful, it helps me a lot if you like and subscribe and show all your Mandalorian friends how you can set up a helmet fan for, I don't know, maybe $6. Take it easy, guys.